Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Flawless campaign or the Flawless run where I'm trying to beat uh, normal legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen with permanent dark events and try to lose zero soldiers, zero missions and not get hit in the process. We're up for another dark VIP mission because the game somehow assumes we need more intel to kind of expand, but we already captured the entire world in early September, which is uh, quite fast. Uh, so the game kind of does not realize that and wants to give us more resources in order to snowball, which is fine. I don't mind that. We still have two more Chosens to go and then all of uh, the uh, good old... Um, Golden Path missions, so uh, it's a bit more content uh, to go. We're going in with the B team, got our nice little Rage suit, we got uh, the um, Snake suit, and we got really decent weapons, two times blue screen rounds, two Mimic Beacons, so whatever you need, we got it, boys. So let's jump right into the mission and see how this one is going to go. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. Dark VIP here. Need to get there. 14 turns. That's a tightly packed map, uh, which tells me we are going to be in a lot of trouble. And this building here might look like a great idea, but I can tell you, typically there are two packs around uh, the Dark VIP. So this here actually means the moment that we step in front here we're going to be in trouble so mark my words uh, that would be my prediction moving up and oh wow first pack already spotted well fantastic well, let's stay here for a second shall we Okay, this here would trigger. And if you wonder why would you trigger in the first uh, turn, well, quite simple. We want to trigger one pack at a time. And that's a perfect way of doing it. Bastard stays here. And. We're going to remove as much cover as possible. Very nice, that's a good one. Fantastic. Then, combat uh, presence into kill. Two, four, so what are we dealing with? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, that's not a hundred percent kill, which means we need to soften him up. Our random resistance operative can help us with that. Apparently just crits him. I don't want to run on gun. I would really like to get into cover and just shotgun them. Hmm. Nah, I would want to go over there. All right, high ground it is. Big fat crit. And Alejandro kills him. Not. Good. First pack. Done. We 
We removed uh, the ability to go up here, but everybody who needs to be uh, on the top, with the exception of Alejandro, already has the ability to grapple up, so it's not that bad. I am thinking about whether or not there is an option to go through here. You know, we can always remote start and therefore break the glass window. No, 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 I want to go over here. So single move into grappling hook this here would trigger Solid copy. good grappling hook <laughs> okay, all right, uh, not intended to do that, but whatever. Um, how about... Move to here and thankfully these bad boys don't know any ranged increment. There you go. Grappling, and I would love to grapple up here. Fantastic, so... Let's... Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Let's take you out. The shadows fail. Okay, that was a very XCOM moment. Reaper got revealed for no particular reason. A hair trigger would be fine. No, that was good. No. Unfortunately not. The choice is made. Their armor saves them. Our success is Okay, a bit atypical. Well, it's not necessarily how you're uh, clearing that, but you know, whatever works. At least we get the hi uh, got the high ground, and we got uh, to see a couple of fun abilities at work. Fabulous. Random destruction of a vehicle. So easily. 
Just beautiful. I mean the target, uh, the destruction of uh, the vehicle. All right, almost uh, down. Good, look, we don't want to trigger anything else. I'm just going to be a good corporate citizen. Standing up here, minding my own business, and that is about it. Okay. Overwatch. Moving Overwatch. I will watch. Great. Uh, great. More reinforcements come in. Reaper scouts out whatever needs to be seen. There is still uh, the gatekeeper pack somewhere. As close as possible. Problema, capo. Overwatch, Overwatch. Moves over and Overwatches. Lyrical moves up. And I think whoever lands will be up for Root Awakening. Good, bring it on. When I said bring it on, I actually meant you were supposed to hit these guys, not randomly shoot into the air. Oh boy, that was an XCOM Overwatch if there ever had been one. Okay, short break and back. So, how do we untie this mess of a situation? by just aggressively killing all of them, of course. Good, might as well reposition here. Free repositioning thanks to the Rage Suit. Boom, fabulous. Into full flanking position on two of them. We are killing the guy in full cover. Also opening the cover here a little bit. You see that one? Good, that worked out well. And now, let's injure them. Very nice. Into Kill. Death from above triggers. And that's a another sustenance. As per the usual. Good. We'll take a protocol. Because we're standing in the open. Moving 
Overwatch, Overwatch. In short order. Scouting. Uh, down here or up there might be the last pack. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic reading. Listen, this into Overwatch and we're good. Can uh, pull ourselves up here for the next pack. Good, freeze taken care of. Interesting, even more enemies. Okay. I'm reloading. Very well, we're reloading. No, no, no. Don't want to hit any of them. Although we are in a good position there with the sniper. Mm. I think what we're going to do is slowly move up. And then engage. All right, um, Alejandro moves up. Grapple is practically ready. Just want the high ground. Reloading, I mean, we could do a Haywire protocol, but not this turn. And I'm just overwatching, knowing farewell that that could trigger one of the packs if they're moving. Answer is no. That's fine by me. That way, that way, and... All the way to here. This is a bit of a risky maneuver, but if it pays, uh, if it pays out well, uh, then then this is going to be rock solid. Uh, having a death from above up there, getting all the bit closer. Good. Next turn we're going to engage. It's very likely that we're taking both of the packs. So, um, don't want to be caught out in the open. Ce la posso fare. Which means we are going into a position. Enemy starts to react. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, okay, that would hit. Pairing a double whammy here. Good, Mutant will die, and Gatekeeper heavily injured. Fantastic. Utilizing hook. 
Removing Overwatch. Of course. Uh, we're moving up. I think the gatekeeper we can just mimic beacon at the moment. What I would want is to get as close as possible to the rest and take out some of these guys. That'd be nice. Mm. Good setup. Which this should be a kill. Okay. Very well. Free reload. Off to a sniper. Um, hmm. Okay, I thought we had the mech inside. Apparently that's not the case. In which case, this here might be blocked, but this here won't. Great aiming angles and that should be a nice little hit. Death from above continues. That will be a bit more of a difficult shot to hit that mutant, 55%. Good one! Continuing our death from above. I like it. Gatekeeper takes a lot of damage. Comet presence over. Pre reload, right? Yep. Unfortunately, failed that shot. Down to two hit points. Okay. I don't think that we do have a hundred percent hit chance, and therefore we're doing the mimic beacon route. Hits for fourteen. Wow. Of course, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Another face, this one shows his ugly face. Pun very much intended. Good. Reloading.
kill. And let's grab the loot and get out of here. Gatekeeper loot is highest tier loot, so that's Spear a Hair Trigger, Illyrium Core, not bad. With the exception of uh, that really unfortunate situation where the car, at no fault of our own, exploded and left us stranded with a dead VIP, the rest of the mission is fine. Doesn't count as a failed mission, mainly because the dark VIP can be executed, that's a legal way of uh, finishing the mission. I leave the field for Roger then. Head home. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And yeah, the gatekeeper did not stand a chance against us. We were just mowing them down. No little uh, uh, thanks to um, Alejandro Bastard, who with Death From Above was just killing it. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. A soldier, that could be good. That late, oh, well, it's not that late in the campaign, we're end of mid-game, November. Uh, but that could be a good soldier. So, wait a second. We do have the Prime Team ready, don't we? Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. Okay, fantastic. Shut up, Shen. I didn't ask you for your uh, for your opinion. Generally speaking, Avenger it appears to me board. that everybody on the ship liberally thinks that they continuously can give you their opinions, kind of in the middle of something. I'm explaining what we're doing, and they just start babbling. All right, so prime team time. Isn't it time to get uh, the hunter down and get the best weapon in the game? The ultimate sniper, as they say. Like armor available, like weapons available, and we're going to go through that. A little bit of that. I think. Crowd control would be helpful. That and that. Besides, hmm. Well, that's fine. Although I'm thinking. Exchange crowd control for the Berserker armor reposition. It's not bad either. Um, or, well, grappling is actually quite good in the next mission. Endors um, needs the spider suit, Arashi, Katana, Tail and Rounds, and we're good. This here will be to kill the Chosen. Double Mimic Beacon for now. I think high ground is helpful, so we're going with more spider suits. Now the only question that I do have is whether or not we want the Rage Suit or the Frost Grenade. I think I'll go with Frost Grenade on this one and give it a go.
Time to go for the hunter. Stay sharp. Time for us to land, and we landed. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. I was hoping you might take a little longer to find this place. Things were just starting to get interesting between us. Now, you're already dead. Okay, we can, I can definitely explode this here if needed, and that's the hangar. So says I am to obey. let's move towards it. Will do. Good, we got a couple of Overwatch. well uh, hidden soldiers. Three of them are in concealment. Never mind. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. They're on to me. All right, good hit, Roro. Love it. Good, I'll think of it as a warm-up before the main event. Moving up. Let's get that heavy mech down. Oh, come on. In the meantime, what are we going to do with you guys? I could Reaper, which potentially is not a bad idea. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. No, that's not a 100% kill, but we're going to make it one in a second. Ooh, eight points of damage with pistol, that's not bad. Good. Uh, let's kill the heavy mech. We might be triggering something, but that I don't care about. I want more focus on Stormwalker, and I don't want to fight this guy here in melee. Now. 
Good, problem solved with minimum utilization of cooldowns. Templar is full and next turn we're ready to go. Uh, superior auto loader were good. I am watching. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. I have to say, I'm rooting for you. These things aren't the best conversationalists. I will be positioned. Oh, wow. Really? Good, we're, we're starting with the small ones, shall we? There is a pack over here. Knowing that, of course, we're not going to go for it. But instead, destroy it and uh, take a good snicker at Advent Hiding. Overwatch, 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 and we're good. Good, there is another turret back here, which we can uh, kill with a relative ease. This here should be a huge explosion on the other side. Look, in case they are coming over, right? doesn't break okay I've honestly never remote started that thing Orders confirmed. Moving out. moves up kills the turret lives heavily af ever uh, heavily after ever Lots of Archons, this is the final room, so that's pretty matter of fact where we need to go through. Not a problem. 
And everybody takes good overwatch position or as good of an overwatch position as we can get. And it's finally inappropriate Murphy who is shooting but not triggering them. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to get these guys next turn. And I already do have an idea how we're going to do that. Unfortunately, they triggered themselves. I wanted to showcase a kill zone uh, blade storm um, trigger, which would have been fun. It's kill zone over all of them, so three shots. And then a nice little uh, blade storm of Hogbite. A uh, storm rager is, of course, what I meant to say. And both of it would have gotten all the way up to seven extra attacks plus the initial attack, so. That would have been awesome. A little bit of cloning going on. Okay. Don't mind that. Pretty rich words for someone uh, who is just trying to mock uh, people. Very nice. So. Keep it going. I like what I'm seeing. Target down. Ricevuto. Mi muovo sull'obiettivo. Moves up. Get gets the close range proximity bonus. E a terra. Implacable, untouchable. Um, to go to here because now we're going to do the good old double blade storm shenanigans both of them are immune to whatever he's trying to do and he will die again no matter what he's trying to do Reaper's already moving over there Thank you. Wonder, Commander, if you told them what you saw in the Elder's Chamber, the truth of what's to come. No, you couldn't have. They'd be home screaming now if you did. My life is in your hands. I can do that. Okay. 
Okay. Let's move everyone into a favorable position. Good hit. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Right? And that takes care of the chrysalids. Good. There is still one more pack somewhere, but that so, I don't really do care about. We don't need to clear everything, we just need to kill him. Did a reasonable good job in preserving our cooldowns and consumables. Reloading. Always reload before you go up because the Ascension Gate, just like the last room in Waterworld, resets all of your weapon um, autoloaders. Alright, back. Time to kill a Chosen. Okay. Good, we need to rehide. That is, of course, not what was supposed to happen. Shipbearer takes a little shot. Running and gunning. We'll save that uh, for the priest. Let's get the shield bearer first. We won't be able to collect that loot because I want our cooldowns to be ready. A fabulous hit. Fantastic. Good first hit, a little bit more problematic second hit. I want to start with full focus. might be a hit although chances aren't that great well never mind it's a template at the end of the day so hashtag no problem okay um Let's get up here. On my way. And here. And here. Trying to not get too close. 
end of turn, we're, we need to regain our uh, abilities, specifically run and gun and rapid fire. Reload. All of that does not need to be reloaded. Okay. Well, I think it's almost time. This is not triggering, right? Nope. Okay. Good. Now it's time. Moving up and uh, triggering. All right. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. Maglord, uh, Overwatch after turn, immune to explosions, a low profile. And hates Templars. Okay. Positions himself very well there. Amplifying him. We do have Shredder, don't we? Yes, we do. Which means uh, this year Leave our world. should be a couple of hits. I bet you can't do that again. Decent, but not good enough. Try that again, people. I dare you. That first shot. Um, hit him. Hey, it's Templars and it's shredded, which is perfect. We're getting our focus back. Kill, right? All right. In which case, Reaper into getting that kill. That'll keep us the action. Okay. Roger. The device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor. Transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Roger that. Absolutely. Moves to here for the respawn. And what I would want to do is hit the sarcophagus. Unfortunately, there is uh, they have implemented it in a way where you can actually miss the sarcophagus. It's a bit ridiculous, but whatever. 
we are not lucky. Those are ultra high level, uh, ultra high chance shots. Andromedon, all right. <laughs> and the Berserker, okay. <sighs> Could have been easier enemies, but okay. Reload and dual strike over here. Very good. Free reload still. Yeah. Moves to here, takes care of the Berserker for one round. Okay, not to cluster up. That's a good position. Still can hit the sarcophagus. Lots of damage. Teamwork over. Sarcophagus almost down. I'm waiting for the hair trigger to pop in. There you go. Just need to persuade the game. That's a lesson for you. That's not a bad uh, setup because we will kill it and with uh, with um, blade storm. Is there anything that he could do that would bypass blade storm? You know what? Just for safety measures, I don't want to get hit by an acid goo. If I can prevent it. Hard target, minimal damage. Hmm. 
There's the blade storm. Very nice hit, by the way. Understood. Moving out. Good. Off to a flanking position. And let's teach him a lesson. Apparently no lesson was taught this day. Let's try that again. This time we have marked him. Let's teach him a lesson is what I said. Good. This time it worked like a charm. And since he hates uh, Templars so much, might as well uh, teach him not to mess with us. Very nice. That was a pretty one-sided stomp. But as you can see, we now have all of the toys available uh, for us. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off. Of course, Central is of a different opinion. As always. One of you suggested I should do a run where I do exactly what Central says all of the time. I don't know if I can suffer through that pain. Imagine uh, pushing into waves of chrysalids because he tells you to. Oh boy. Darklands, Darklaw, finally. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Good, very soon it's time for the Warlock. That guy still has it coming. And then the Chosens are... Um, out of the picture the alien rulers are out of the picture and we are going to be happy campers rolling in dough as they say nine days and then we're good okay fair enough i would love to give you guys uh, just better items superior folks shit it's really bad um okay so she can help us out restocking and of course he teases us again uh, says there's a hustler running the black market yeah we haven't found that we are victorious, and the cause is okay we wanted to do another breakthrough research this time add additional weapon slot to to the vector rifles Same team and does the gig, six days. And then afterwards, I think it was the resistance order that we wanted. Form soldiers bond is also important for our main team because inappropriate Murphy and our Templar still haven't uh, formed a bond. So sometimes you gotta help them. Great. Uh, battlefield medicine would be fine. I think this would be 
good as well. But I'll wait for the heavier version of it. Okay, before we're doing battlefield medicine, let's do the following because I'm seeing that often. But someone doesn't have enough med kits because they get quote unquote lost and then after battlefield medicine it requires viper corpses. But with battlefield medicine all of the existing med kits get automatically upgraded. So what you really want to do is purchase a couple of them and profit. Good, hidden dark event. I like to counter that. Sonic defenses, I don't mind. Colonel Ranger, that would be great, but there is no dark event to counter. Although Colonel Ranger is actually really, really good. Uh, I hate to do it, but I don't want more dark events. So that's going to be that. Um, for now, I think we're at the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your viewership. If you like what you've uh, seen, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.